but she's grown so but i have to get out of the office for just a little while i'll talk to cliff and that'll give us the rest of the afternoon together oh yeah look at this i would like that listen i'm going to go out for a little bit this morning nicole's coming home today and i want to get her a welcome home gift maybe i'll get a welcome home gift for you you want a welcome home gift too hmm? yeah. that's okay <laughs> yeah you've given me the only welcome home gift i've ever wanted i can't I can't believe it. <laughs> We're having another baby. I know. It's amazing. And all those doctors who said I'd never have a baby. Oh. Huh? I'm going to call the doctors next time. Baby. Yeah. Baby. You're supposed oh. to have a baby. That's the phone. We're not going to answer. Um, it's an escape. I'll get it. Now, Scott Resnick. The one thing we're not going to do is talk to the press. Would you want some milk? Would you want some milk? Well, I'm not sure Mr. Scott wishes to speak to you. Who is it? Mrs. Michaels, I, I told her you didn't want to take her call. No. Mrs. Timmons, I'll, I will talk to her. Thank you. Emily, it's Draper. Ah, oh, Draper, I thought I saw your car drive in last night. I'm so glad you're back. Yeah, I'm glad to be home soon. I, I just can't wait to see you. I, I, Draper, you're not staying at, at the Pant House now, are you? I mean, April and you aren't uh, back together or anything. Why don't I talk to you about that in person, all right? Do you mean it? Yeah, sure. Look, I'll be down in a few minutes, okay? Sure, that's wonderful. I I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. <laughs> to have the ceremony done this afternoon, not even if I pull every string I have at City Hall. You sure did change your tune. Last night, you couldn't wait for me to set a date. You didn't even give me a chance to talk about it. Just ran out of the house. Oh, now, wait a minute. That was an emergency. Well, I know it was important. I'm not saying it wasn't it. I mean, I, I'm very happy that Nancy Carr is alive and all that, but I'm a little too, and I think that I deserve a little bit of attention. Yes, you deserve it, and I'm sure you'll get it. <laughs> You told me you wanted me to leave you a note, so I did. I thought you'd be happy. Well, uh, tell you the truth, honey, I didn't even see your little message until after I woke up this morning. I didn't get in last night till 3 a.m. Fell asleep with my clothes on. But look, sleep or no sleep, I got a very heavy schedule at the office today. See? You're making excuses. I think you're the one that's not sure about this wedding. Well, I'm the one who shouldn't be. You know, sometimes I look in that little mirror that you messed up, and I ask myself just what the hell I'm doing. Just what does that little mirror say? <laughs> Comes right out and tells me that I'm a turkey, but I don't pay any attention to it because I love you anyway. You hear what I said? Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard it. All right, honey, look, I'll, I'll promise you this much. I'll see if I can arrange for the ceremony today, but I can't guarantee the mayor. You promised me the mayor. I didn't tell him he was going to have to arrange his schedule to suit ours. If it can be done, it'll be done. Well, when exactly will you know? I can't be sure. I'm gonna have to make a lot of phone calls now, see what I can put together. Probably not gonna be what you were expecting. Probably have to settle for a court judge. Probably no friends either, for that matter. As soon as I know something for sure, I'll call you back. No, don't. What do you mean, don't? I mean, don't call me here. I have to go out. I, I have to pick up my wedding outfit. It's, it's being altered, so, um... I'll call you. Oh, okay, hon. I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye-bye. The Whitney residence? Gunther, is that you? Uh, who's calling, please? Raven Swift. 
Uh, I'm uh, sorry, Mrs. Swift. Uh, Mr. Whitney's dressing at the moment. Oh, that's okay. That doesn't matter because I want to talk to you. Look, Gunther, I need your help desperately. What, uh, my help? Yes. Uh, something has come up. My fiancé and I decided to get married today. This afternoon, as a matter of fact, by the mayor himself. Well, uh, congratulations, Mrs. Swift. Oh, well, thank you, but I don't need your congratulations. I need your help. Um, look, it, it happened so suddenly that I, I have about half a dozen errands to run, and, well, otherwise it's going to be impossible to go through with the wedding. So, please, please, could you help me? Uh, look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Swift, uh, but I really can't do that. I mean, I, I know I drove you around the other day, but uh, I shouldn't have done that either. Well, you, but this is more important than the other day. Please, Gunther, don't let me down. Look, uh, Mr. Whitney won't mind, I'm sure. Well, okay, I'll ask him for you. Good. Do that. Ask him. Um, and can you ask him fast? Because I'm in a hurry. We, uh, we don't want to keep the mayor waiting, do we? <laughs> Just say nothing of the chief of police. Uh, look, I'll call you back later. Uh, are you at home? Uh, yes. Um, thank you. Um, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah. <clears throat> what was that all about? Uh, that was Mrs. Swift. Uh, she was wondering if I could uh, do some chauffeuring for her this morning. Well, she's got a nerve, hasn't she? Well, she said it was a kind of emergency because uh, she's getting married. When? Uh, this Today? Sir, this afternoon, sir. I think she's going to be married at the city hall. She mentioned the mayor and all. Yeah, she was boasting about that to me, saying that she was going to have the mayor marry her. I'll tell you what, Gunther. Call her back. Uh, now, Mr. Whitney? Yes. Tell her it's all right. I mean, uh, you, you want me to drive her around? It'll be my wedding gift to her. I heard that both of us were at the same place for a while. Well, yes, I wanted to see you so much. That's why I went to East Meadows. Because I, I can't stand it when I don't see you. I, uh... I've been listening to the radio all morning. I just can't believe what was going on there. I knew that Matt Sharkey was a terrible person, but I had no idea that he was a criminal. Yeah. There were a lot of criminals up there. Just as long as you come back all right. Oh, how happy the cars must be right now, being back together again. Almost as happy as I am, having you home. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be home, too, with my wife, my daughter. Julia won't be your only child for very long. I know the truth, Emily. I know the truth, and I know that you're a liar. Auctioned off my pine, your daddy bought it. That's... Draper, didn't Sharky tell you that he had nothing to do with me at the hospital? Well, he tried to convince me of that. You told him I was there, didn't you? And then he took advantage of the situation by telling me that lie about you getting pregnant by a lawyer. It's not a lie. Don't you realize what you did by telling him that you almost cost three people their lives, April, me, and Nancy? Draper, I didn't know. I didn't know the danger I was putting you into. Honestly, I, I never would have told him. did tell him. I didn't think Sharky was smart enough to figure it out by himself. Did you also suggest the lies? They weren't lies. God, this is a nightmare. I thought you were coming up here to take me in your arms and tell me you knew the truth, and that we'd always be together, that we'd be family. I have a family upstairs. But you still have no proof. I do have proof. Sharky told me himself. No, he wouldn't do that. He enjoyed it, Emily. He enjoyed telling me before he shot me. No. Well, that's what he had to do to protect himself. He had to kill all of us. That man is a monster. He doesn't deserve any pity. But you do. Me? You're carrying his child. No, Draper, wait, wait. You can't leave me like this. You can't. Emily, I feel sorry for you, but God, 
You disgust me. You used to love me. I, I was your wife once. Yes, Kirk and Emily Michaels. That was a lie, too, wasn't it? Oh, this baby I am carrying is, is yours. Now, if Matt Sharkey lied to you once, what makes you think he wouldn't lie to you a second no time? You had no need to lie again. It was like a deathbed confession. Oh, Draper, I love you. And I love my wife, so let's just forget all of this. I can't forget it. My God, you're my life. You're everything. And you're carrying your life. Heredity doesn't have any effect on morality, so I'm sure if you try very hard, you'll be able to raise a decent human being. No, not without you. Not without his father. How long are you going to cling to this fantasy? It's not a fantasy. It's the truth. Convince yourself. Convince the baby if you can. But you'll never convince me. No, Draper. Draper, wait. Wait, don't you see? Don't you see how impossible it would have been? What? For Sharky and me to, to have had an affair in the hospital. No, no, don't you remember the Hathaway? With the doctors and the nurses walking all over the place at any time, any hour of the day? Don't you see how Sharky and I could never have managed to have been alone? I almost forgot something. What? A little souvenir. Something to remind you of Sharky. of the contest. Flight 902 from Miami and Orlando is now deplaning at gate 14. Visitors wishing to meet passengers arriving on flight 902 may do so at gate 14. Oh, don't. <laughs> well, come on, at least let me see what you look like. Oh, awful, I bet. I couldn't sleep last night thinking about this morning. I was thinking about being back home again with you and Adam and Jody. Skycap to gate 14. Well, I got a correction please. for you. Skycap You look terrific. <laughs> you look beautiful, most beautiful arriving passenger on any airline anywhere in the country. <laughs> oh, what a day for a reunion. Tell me all about what happened oh, to Nancy. Not, no, not now, not now. I just... Just want to talk about us. You'll hear all from my sister first time. She's oh, are they the all right? They're fine, 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 quiet. Just want to concentrate Mr. on the two Gerald of us. Mr. Gerald Wilson, please pick up the How are you feeling? courtesy phone. Are you sure you're all right? God, you look so healthy, <laughs> I can't stand it. I feel wonderful. I was so weak for so long, I never thought I'd get all my strength back, but now I feel like I could play ten sets of tennis and dance well, the night now, away. No, we're going to hold off on the tennis and the dance. Now, Just Miles, don't you dare start talking about bed rest when I get home. Who said anything about rest? Oh, oh, I missed you so much. Oh, there's so much I want to say to you and so much I want to hear about. Well, there's an awful lot to tell. But these next few days, they belong just to us. <laughs> Well, is my husband still home? No, he said he was going to his office for about an hour, but he'll be home shortly. Oh. Uh, can I fix you something for lunch? Yes, you can. I am starving. Well, you didn't get any breakfast, so it's no wonder. <sighs> you know, you really must take good care of yourself now, Mrs. Scott. I will. I, I promise you. Listen, I was too excited to eat this morning, but now I am ravenous. I'll fix you something especially nice. Thank you. Don't... Jump, Bill. <laughs> you better be so happy to see Jump. <sighs> Welcome home, baby. Gone a while. 
Oscar's only part-time now. He's a new man on the elevator today. Well, then I will have to make sure that he also has strict orders not to let you go into their private elevator. You really think it's all over, don't you? You really believe that you've won? Uh, Emily, I'm not gloating. No. But you are congratulating yourself, aren't you? You think it's easier just to accept what Matt Sharkey has to say, even though that man has proven himself to be a liar. Well, then the two of you made a good team, didn't you? Draper's accepted it, too. Says he's not going to feel one pang of conscience ever again. There's no reason why he should feel any pangs of conscience. The baby you are carrying is not his, and you know it. Do you? Do I? Are you kidding me? Do I? I have known it from the beginning. I may, I may not have had proof, but I had my feelings. So it's all settled then. You've both made up your minds. Emily Draper and I love each other, and that was settled a long time ago. So what am I supposed to do? What's going to happen to me? I'm sorry, I don't know. But you can start by saying goodbye. Say goodbye. I'll leave this damn building. I'll leave this stupid town, too, if I have to. But I'll tell you something, April. If you think I'm out of your lives, you're wrong. Well, then, I guess uh, that's a little bit of bad news. Uh, Emily, before you go, um, let me give you some good news. What do you mean? Well, actually, it's something I've known for quite a while. In fact, I'm surprised you haven't noticed uh, just looking at me. What are you talking about, April? You're right. Draper's going to have a, another baby. So I'm pregnant. Four nine six four eight Atlanta, Georgia. Phone one eight hundred USA one thousand. Now wait just a second. It's the third time I've been transferred from one office to another. I'm getting tired of it. Mallory, Police Chief Derek Mallory. I can't very well whip out my badge and show it to you now, can I? Please let me speak to him, yes. Hello, look. This is Police Chief Derek Mallory. I've been trying to reach the mayor all morning. I've been told he's in a conference. A bridge? Well, I was wondering if he left message with anybody there about a wedding ceremony. He did? Well, thank God I finally found somebody who knows what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, we did. That, that's why I'm calling you. I, uh... I was wondering if we could have the ceremony done this afternoon. Well, well that's all right. I, I figured maybe he couldn't. But I thought maybe one of the city court judges, Judge Wilkerson, that would be perfect. He's a friend of mine. Do you think so? That soon? Well, all right. Uh, yes. Call me back as soon as you know. Thank you. Well. Maybe I can move mountains after all. So tomorrow becomes today, huh? God, I hope you know what you're doing. Cancer, you are a doll. Mm, thank you so much. What are you doing here? Well, believe it or not, darling, this is my vehicle. Yes, I know, but I thought... I know. 
you thought that you were going to be using it this morning to run your errands. Well, as it turned out, I had an errand or two myself. So I thought we might both use the car, if that's all right with you. I suppose. But I am in a bit of a hurry. I am going to be married this afternoon. So it's true. It's not just another ploy. Yes, it's true. And nothing is going to stop me. Well, that's where you're wrong. Gunther, the door. What are you doing? Locking us in. To make sure that you don't walk down that wedding aisle. Mm -hmm. 